Hi guys, I'm Emily with Rec Pro. Today I'm going to show you our pleated shades repair kit. Um, the kit comes with enough items for you to repair up to five 36 by 36 shades. Comes with easy to follow instructions. Five 20 foot cords. You're gonna have six cord retainers, eight cord bushings, three springs. Okay, so to get started, what you're going to want to do first is of course, disassemble this. So we're gonna start with that step. You'll take the caps off of your shades off first, top and bottom. Going to slide your channels off. Pull out your cords. Simple way to do that is just to pull it straight from the top and it'll pull through. Okay, and to repair your shades, what you'll start with is you're going to need two of these 20 foot cords. You're going to take each cord tied to each end of this spring. So you come up with something just like this. This is going to go at the top of your shade where your mounting channel will be. And then you're going to feed your string through the gold holes at the top of your shade. If you have them sandwiched together, kind of like so, makes it a little bit easier to kind of push them through all the holes at once. Another tip that is going to help you greatly is putting a little piece of tape around the end of your cord. It's gonna make it a little bit more sturdier, helps you push the cord through as well. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end. So you have the spring at the top of your channel. The bottom of your channel, what's going to be really important is to crisscross these two. So you're going to crisscross those and then from here you can go ahead and slide your channels back on. For the bottom channel, that one is just going to be flat. Okay, and from here we are going to put our caps back on. The bottom caps are going to have the hole. That's where you're going to feed the string through again. Your next step is you're going to take your cord retainers. There are two holes at the top of these, so it makes it a little bit easier. You're gonna feed one through from the inside of the retainer. Come back out and put it through that other hole there. From there, you wanna make sure you get the proper measurement so you can get the string the exact length that you need. And you'll just twist this around and mount it to your wall from there. To find out more about this product, click the link below. Leave a comment on our video, like this video, subscribe to our page, and remember, when you're rolling down the road, roll with Rec Pro.